all right here's the deal i think i broke my flex and uh i don't know if i'm happy or upset but i'm definitely excited because we've been trying to break this thing for almost a year and i think we might have done it uh you're gonna see in this video where i had suspicions about it and i did something really extreme to it so we don't definitively know like did i completely like break it you know but uh let me know what you think in the comments below because uh i did something pretty crazy to it and the vibration in my hands was just insane um it, it felt like a uh i i don't even know what like you were just hitting a a steel pole with a baseball bat like a solid steel pole um just the amount of vibration so maybe the bit was supposed to do what it did i don't know uh i feel like maybe any tool would have done this but i was at least excited to kind of get a result on what was going on i've done some previous shorts uh a couple of shorts ago we dropped a bit and i wasn't sure what was going on with it someone asked me about the chuck um i figured maybe i forgot to tighten it or something then I did this short recently, and of course the bit fell out. I know you saw that. So, wasn't too sure what to do. We did this vol bruh. We did this video following that short, and I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Now, we recently got the DCD998, and I freaking love this thing. It's awesome. And we're running it up against the Flex, and I wanted to make the video separate. So this content is whenever I was testing the Flex, against this drill and i decided to cut it out and just leave it all about the dewalt the last video because nobody wants a just a crazy video with all kinds of ideas colliding into each other so we made this video separate and this is the flex only and it is of it failing so check it out let me know what you think i don't know if it's completely dead or not or if the chuck's just broken or what um obviously you can get a regular chuck but the thing does have a limited lifetime warranty, so maybe we'll be using that soon. We're going to report on as soon as the Flex completely, you know, gives up the ghost as far as the chuck is concerned. I don't think the motor's ever going to give up. I don't, the transmission, that thing's just solid. If anything was going to break, it was going to be the chuck. I'm excited that we did it. And yeah, uh, let's roll the tape. This thing did start dropping bits, and I don't know if it's me or um, if this thing's just tired of, you know, being a chuck. We've been really rough on this, so that will be exciting to find out because, frankly, I don't care if it gives up. Um, I just want to know, is it going to hold up for the long run for you guys? So we're going to be checking that out. We did tighten this thing up all the way. Locked it like that. So we should not drop this bit. If we drop this bit, we can pretty well call this chuck um, done. If not, we can say maybe I forgot to tighten it or something. Let's just find out. So right off the bat, let's put it in this four by four, see what happens. We're gonna leave it in turbo mode. Here we go. It is through. These bits sometimes get stuck. I think I can just push it without. Yeah, exactly. So that that does happen. Pretty fast, no issues. We'll do another one here. Yeah. Nice and easy. This thing really is a powerhouse. I, I don't care what everybody says. They don't seem to like these. These are my favorite and we haven't lost the bit yet. So we are gonna run this four or five more times to see if this bit comes loose. Um, for now, we're gonna put a different bit into the DeWalt here with the power stack and we'll come back to this. All right, we're gonna run this again to see if we can get this bit to fall. If it doesn't fall, we're gonna call it okay. And I'm actually gonna put it in the knotted area because this drill is more powerful. Here we go. 
in turbo. All right, now I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm just gonna wall this around in here and see if we can get this bit to fall out. All right, so I'm editing this video and like, oh my God, dude. This thing is like, blah, blah, blah. it's just, just freaking insane. Oh man. Um, all right, so so the first part of this video, like I was recording it, but it was before I got to this part where I was editing. And and this thing, I mean, no wonder it fell out. I just just look at this. This this is crazy, man. This this drill is just too much fun. Um, uh, I don't want to ruin it, so you'll see what happens. But I'm not surprised at the result. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right, so um, that was pretty extreme, but that's okay. This thing, I mean, was just vibrating around like crazy. You gotta see how big we made this hole. So that's how big the hole is. That's how big it should be. I mean, just insane, actually. Um, But it did fall out. So maybe, maybe we have broken the choke on the flex. And that, as far as I'm concerned, is actually good news because this has a lifetime warranty. So we're fixing to find out. Um, very extreme case scenario, but it still happened. Let's put more different, uh, let's put different bits in here. Let's put, let's put this in here and finish it off. You see that? It, it almost rotates the whole drill. Like it's not a, Here we go. Yeah. Let's see what happens. All right, we're gonna go through the knot again. In turbo still, here we go. Uh, right here. I, I just love these bits so much, you don't understand. We're gonna go on the knot, here we go. Yeah, man, these things just do not care. Let's see how the bit is. <laughs> we tore the paint off and it got so hot. Let's see how loose it is. Now, see, it's still tight. I don't know, uh, just through more testing, more videos, things like that, we're gonna find out if this thing is truly broken or not because I, you could just feel the vibration. I mean, I, I wish you could feel it in your hands. It was like, it was it was insane. So um, probably the flex chuck is definitely not in the same condition it was when it started, um, when I first got it. But I don't think it's gonna be a problem yet. I'm gonna definitely report on it and let you guys know. For now, I'm not calling it yet. Uh, let's see what the DeWalt can do. All right, let me know what you think in the comments below because I feel like that drill probably should have dropped the bit with that much vibration. Um, it was definitely really fun to go back and watch it because I remembered what it felt like in my hands, which is just uncontrolled craziness. Um, but looking back and seeing it, and the camera couldn't even keep up with the with the frames. I mean, the thing just looks like spaghetti on the camera is pretty funny um i can tell you right now uh 
I won't be doing any of those tests to any of these tools. Like the flex is just, just getting it the worst. And I really don't think that any other brand can stand up to the level of abuse that I've given the flex. We've done just insane stuff with the jigsaw from cutting galvanized rigid conduit with a wood blade, a uh, two inch rigid conduit at that. We've, we've, really stress test the impact and the drills just to their limit um, i'm going to be really excited the day that we do break something on the flex i don't know if it's happened yet but when it happens you guys will be the first to know to the response for any comment that says you know that's not a fair comparison because you could be pushing harder on one than the other all i can say is you guys don't watch this channel because it, this is the most raw honest content that I feel like you're gonna find anywhere. We, we don't cut anything out. We tell the whole story here. So uh, yeah, just thank you for the continued support. Man, I think we've almost got like 900 subs in the last 28 days, which is just insane. We're co coming up on 1500 subscribers. You guys are just awesome. We've almost got 7,000 watch hours just this month alone. I mean, it, it we're at 500,000 views. You guys are just killing it. So thanks for all the support and we will see you guys on the next one.